Would you like to step into this little fantasy? I was in the video literally for a microsecond. If you blink, you miss me. Who in the right mind is going to put a perfume bottle on them? You've got to get a lot of people on your side to make it really work. And if you put your standards up to the level of whoever you admire, it's pretty terrifying. Somehow there's a raw energy to London again. Isn't it more interesting to have new houses rather than dead designers? I felt like I was crying out to be me from a very early age. I was obsessed by fashion since I was a kid. A lot of what I do has got a bit of a sense of humour, it's just you maybe don't get it. What fashion would mean in film, it just made me feel really, really excited. The way I work, I have to have a mood in my head, I have to have a feeling for something. Every day I can play a different woman. This is what fashion is, I want to be here. The idea of Pygmalion was very appealing to me. My fascination for fashion and, and clothes started with uh, David Bowie. I was always into the more romantic side of things. I didn't question, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And we had each other, you know, there was always that part of things. I would hate to have to think of myself as a celebrity. What's the point of talking about all these extreme things if you're not up for it yourself. <laughs> thing of beauty is a joy forever. I think that if something's good, it should always be good.